So I thought I'd try this faith thing out. I, was, uh, I read in the gospel that I'm going to read in just a minute today where Jesus said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can tell that, well, he said mulberry tree, to be uprooted and to be thrown into the sea, and it would do it. So last night I tried this out. I, before I left, I told the tree right outside my office there, which, by the way, is really hard on me because I really like that tree. It's been around a long, long time. It's a very, very old, old tree. But I told that tree, I said, in the morning, I want you to be in Lake St. Paul. Okay, you know what Lake St. Paul is? Okay, it's that pond over there that fills up when you get a really big rain like we did a week ago. Okay, so I tested it out. Last night, like I said, I told, I told that tree, I said, I want you to be in Lake St. Paul in the morning. And you know what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. Absolutely nothing. I came this morning and... The tree was still there. So what's up? Right? What's wrong? Don't I have enough faith? Don't, if I would have prayed, how about if I had prayed harder? How about if I'd had all you guys pray that too? Is, is something wrong with my faith? Or maybe I don't, don't believe enough or something like that. Why wasn't that tree in, the, in Lake St. Paul out there? Well, you know what the problem is? It's not about me. It's not about how hard we believe. It's about what we believe, right? So answer me this. Who do we put our faith in? We put our faith in Jesus. And what do you know about Jesus? What has Jesus done? What are some things that Jesus has done? Like what? Died on the cross, right? Yeah. You're going to say died on the cross? Yeah. What else has Jesus done? He healed people that were sick, right? When he told them to be healed, what happened? They were healed right away, right? It wasn't like me when I told that tree to go jump in Lake St. Paul, right? What else did he do? Yeah. He did miracles, lots of it. He raised people from the dead, right? He himself rose from the dead, right? He died on the cross and all of that, yeah. What are some things you know that God has done? Like, like how do we get here, right? Did we get here just by chance and, and all of a sudden this world just kind of came to be? No, he makes the world six days of creation. He creates every single thing that's in this world. And what's gonna happen when this, when this world is all done and the end of the world comes? Where are we going? We're going to heaven, right? Yeah, and who's making heaven for us? Jesus said, I'm making heaven for you. So see what I mean? It's not about, it's not about the, the size of what we believe or how hard we believe. It's the fact that we believe in who? In Jesus, right? In God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And how big is he? Huh, so big we can't measure him, right? So huge. And all the things that he does shows how much he loves us and how much he cares for us. So, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that tree where it's at. What do you think? I kind of like it. It gives pretty good shade right there. I think it probably needs to stay there. In fact, who gave me that tree in the first place? <laughs> Came from God, didn't it? Exactly. He made that tree grow. One day that tree was just this little bitty tree, wasn't it? And what happened to that tree? It grew and grew and grew and grew. Yeah, okay, because God was behind it, okay? So let's remember that too. Let's put our faith in Jesus, and we may think our faith is just this little thing, and it is, but it's in such a big God, and we trust in him for everything, okay? So let's pray, and let's ask God's help to do that. Um, God, we have a teeny tiny faith, but our teeny tiny faith is in you, the most powerful one. There is no other God like you. And we thank you for all the things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do for us. Help us, God, to trust you. Increase our trust, our love, and our confidence in you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay.